Did you just send an email you shouldn't have and you want to unsend it? I'm gonna help you with that. My name is Victoria and I'm one of the amazing content marketers here at Mailbird. And if you want more videos like this or helpful tips on how to improve your business or online productivity, click subscribe and join the Mailbird family. So let's dive in. How do you unsend an email in Gmail? So here's how to unsend an email in Gmail, whether you have a Mac or PC, the same instructions apply. All right, so first thing, you're gonna log into your Gmail account. You're gonna go into settings. Once you've gone into your settings in general, I want you to go and look for unsend. You're gonna see the unsend option right here. And you actually have up to 30 seconds to send a cancellation. Click 30, get the maximum of time that you need to unsend something. Go down, click save changes, and you're finished. Then I want you to go into your email that you're gonna do. So how you would unsend is let's say you're typing an email. For some reason, you've accidentally sent your email off. Let's say you click send, and to the side here, undo. So you have a couple of seconds to click undo right here. You've gotta do it. So I'm gonna do it again just so that you see it. It's gonna be on your left hand, the lower left hand side. I'm gonna send the email again. Whoops, undo. And that's how you can unsend an email on Gmail. So one of the pros and cons of this feature is, well, the pro is you can instantly unsend an email as soon as you sent it. But the con of this feature is that you have to click the, the option to unsend, which only lasts for a couple of seconds as soon as you see it. If you miss it, the email is already sent. So that's the only drawback for this feature is that once that option to unsend is gone, that's it. And you might wanna ask, can I unsend an email by deleting it? No. If you cannot unsend an email by deleting it, you're just going to delete it on your end, but the person who receives the email is going to get it on their end. So whether you like it or not, that email is sent. It's just that you're just not going to have any record of it in your inbox because you've deleted it or you've moved it to trash. But if they decide to reply to the email, then you're probably just going to get the reply without much context of what this person is replying to, but you'll know because you tried to eat you try to delete the email. So you gotta be really careful with how you send your emails, watching out for errors, making sure that you click the right button because I know sometimes we're so busy working and we're trying to get everything done. We make these mistakes, which is probably why Gmail created the unsend option because <laughs> we've all sent some emails we shouldn't have sent or we weren't ready to send as yet. And if you're a Mailbird user, you can also access the unsend email feature in Mailbird. And Mailbird allows you to manage multiple emails and multiple accounts in one space. It's an award-winning email management system. So of course, we'd allow you to unsend emails whenever you need to, but the same amount of pros and cons still apply because you are still using a Gmail or Outlook account through Mailbird. So keep that in mind. Feature still available, but the time limitation goes across the board no matter what app you're using, what email provider you have. And also, if you want to try Mailbird, click the link in the description for a free download so you can try out and see why people say that Mailbird is one of the most reliable, quick, and easy to use email management apps out there.